All right, guys, let's let's talk batteries. This is a battery out of a 2016 Nissan Leaf. I bought two salvaged um, Leafs. They're both 2016s. I pulled this one out, out of the one that's in the worst shape. Um, the other one I, I, I've got different plans for. I, I'm almost done rebuilding it. I might might try to put it on the road, but um, I'm still going to use uh, use the battery in a sort of a, a vehicle to grid type setup. But this is the uh, the battery that I'm going to use initially. Um, it's a 24 kilowatt battery. And you can see it's out of a 2016. Um, these are the high voltage connectors here, and then connector on the on the right is is the uh, the communications port. Um, we've got our can wires running out of there and relay control. Now th this is a a test setup to control the uh, control the relays inside the battery and and read the BMS and stuff. The, the little controller board on the left is a, a Lilygo. Um, that's the interface between um, between the battery BMS can and the inverter, uh, which is going to be an RS-485. Um, controls these three solid-state relays, and those relays um, control the... the contactors inside the battery so we've got um, a pre-charge uh, contactor in there that pre-charges uh, the, the, the capacitors the big capacitors in the um, in the inverter and the other two relays on the left um, they control the, the high voltage contactors inside the battery pack so when they activate and uh, you get high voltage out of these ports here. So, while I'm waiting for my body to recover from uh, from the concrete work, I'm gonna get this battery get this battery all set up. Um, I can show you here. Got everything pretty much set up, um, and it, it's working right now. So. I'm reading voltage out of the um, out of the high voltage port, and right now this thing's just programmed to activate the the contactors inside the battery. So if we go ahead and plug this in, if I can do it single-handedly, you'll be able to hear the contactors. Uh, of course, the blades are bent on the plug. All right, let's plug it in. There's the contactors and there's the voltage that's coming out of the out of the high voltage port. So we're looking at 382 volts right now. So that's that's about where we are on on the battery right now. Um, there's a, there's a GitHub, um, that I'm getting this stuff from. It's, uh, it's github.com, Dollar the Great, and he's got a real good project going with, um, with a really great community. Um, I recommend you guys, if, if you're inter interested in this kind of stuff, check it out. Got all the wiring diagrams and the pinouts for uh, for not only the Nissan Leaf but a bunch of other batteries, um, and also a, a lot of different uh, a lot of different um, inverters. Basically, what we've got going here, you got the battery, and then the Lily goes that little controller board, and that that's the interface um, in between the inverters so since the um, inverter doesn't know what a Nissan Leaf battery is what the Lilygo is it, it 
it emulates a battery that um, that the inverter knows how to communicate with so it, it's sending um, communications to the uh, to the inverter that the inverter understands and then takes what the inverter puts out um, and converts it to what the battery understands so it, it's a pretty pretty interesting project um, there's some more diagrams this is the hookup diagram for uh, for the lily go and it, this shows you um, how to hook it up to a Fronius inverter. Um, and we've got the battery hookup diagram uh, with the high voltage, the high voltage cables. And here we have the pinouts for the communications and the and the relays. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a couple more videos as I as I go along here. Um, one on programming the the Lily Go and different configuration options and and things like that. So stay tuned. See y'all later.